afternoon, everyone. How are you guys? Is everyone okay? All right, good. Okay. Right, as a kid, okay, summertime for me did not mean me going to the beach, me going to a lot of summer lessons, or me going out of the country. Okay? Pag sinabing summertime, nung time ko, it would mean me spending moments, days, weeks beside my cassette player. Naalala niyo pa ba yung cassette player? <laughs> you still know as a cassette player, right? So, I would actually listen to the radio, record the songs with my blank tape, and then listen to them again afterwards. Now, why do I do that? Okay? I had a penchant for actually listening to the lyrics of the songs and dissecting them, like dissecting them afterwards. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng song na to? And it went on for a lot of years until I was in high school and college. Huh? Parang sabihin nyo, anong klaseng life yun? No? Summer is beside the radio. No? But, okay, as I went through the stages of childhood, of adolescence, that being a teen, okay, medyo naka-rebel mode na ako. As we all are, at, at some point in our lives, we go into rebel mode. One summertime, okay, medyo napalakas yung volume ng radio. Okay? Masyadong malakas. And at that point, my mom reacted. Okay? My mom reacted and said, okay, Anak, music ba tawag mo dyan? Napaka-ingay. Puro kalabog at ingay lang yan. And I'm sure you've heard this before. I'm sure. Okay? Another comment was, hindi ganyan dati ang lyrics ng music. Mas maganda ang lyrics nun. Okay? And again, I'm sure you've heard this a lot from your mom and dad or your titos and titas. Automatically, I was, as you call it, triggered. Rebel mood again. No, no, you do not understand how we feel right now. Okay? Iba yung expressions namin. Hindi mo maintindihan ma. Okay? Tintindihin mo ako. That went on for a lot of years, even when I was working. Okay? Now, when I'm in the advertising industry, I still believed in that. Except at one point, one or two years ago, okay, I suddenly was confronted with this song. So, what, what do you think? Do you, did you think that girl was pretty? How did that girl even get in here? Do you see her? She's so short and that dress is so tacky. Who wears cheetah? It's not even summer. What? The DJ keep on playing summertime sadness. After you get out of the bathroom, can we go smoke a cigarette? I really need one. But first, let me take a selfie. Do you guys know the song? Yes. Others was like, yes, we know the song, okay? <laughs> but the first time I heard this song, this was my reaction. I, I was like, okay, I was like, WTH, what the hell was that, okay? What does it all mean? Anong sense nung kantang yun? I don't get it at all. And I said, you know what? A lot of people won't like this, okay? Lo and behold, when I looked at the ever-reliable YouTube, it was at 585 million likes already. I was like, okay. At this point, again, I felt that my mom was inside me now. I was this near to saying, ganyan ba yung mga kanta ngayon? Bakit ganyan ang lyrics? Hindi ko maintindihan. Okay? And got me thinking, hmm, naka-emoji, di ba? <laughs> was my mom correct? Does she, had, does she have a point? Nagdi-deteriorate nga ba yung quality of music right now, the way we write music right now? And that would be my topic for today. Okay? There is a myth right now circulating that grabe yung generation ngayon. Hindi na marunong magsulat ng music. Hindi na marunong umappreciate ng magandang music. Okay? Now, in order to prove my point or to put out my point of view, throwback tayo sandali. I'll give you a 15-minute throwback of my playlist during <laughs> when I was a kid in high school and college. But it's 15 minutes, guys, so medyo konti lang to, okay? So, 80s was the time when people were already bordering on breaking through with a lot of freedom, okay? The late 80s was EDSA. Konting push na lang, we're free. There were a lot of uh, debates and arguments about gender equality, about racial discrimination, okay? But people were already knocking on the doors, okay? This was also the time when actually a lot of the songs 
We're, <laughs> yes, we're coded. Okay? And for me to decode that, I need to rewind the tape a lot of times. Yeah? Yun yung relationship ng ball pen and ng tape. Okay, so, first song that I'd like to share with you is a song you would hear a lot or at least you would play in your mind pag malapit ng mag-deadline. I know right now, I, 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 have a, I think I have students here, midterms ngayon. And ito yung unang gusto kong ishare sa inyong song. If you know the song, sing with me. If you know the lyric, it's, it's the, the final countdown. Down. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. All right. One more. We have one more. No? The final countdown. Okay, the song, The Final Countdown. Okay. At first, I thought it was a song made for sports, right? Countdown, 10 seconds to go, last two minutes, the last stretch. But it was actually a song about the nuclear race in the 1980s. Okay? It was about people being afraid na baka magkaroon ng nuclear holocaust. Okay? Again, you have that very beautiful coding of songs. When I discovered it, wow, okay, I'm a, pan, I'm a fan of Europe altogether. Okay? Another song that spilled over from the 70s down to the, up to the early 80s was the song by John Lennon, Imagine. Again, sing along <laughs> if you want. Imagine there's no heaven. No hell below us, above us, above us, only sky. Imagine all. Thank you. Very good. All right. No hell below us, above us, only sky. Equality. Right? An ideal world for that period of time. Okay? Locally, we all had also our shares of songs about freedom. Okay? You know that these guys, one of my favorites during that time, okay, wrote about freedom, brotherhood, love. Nasa na nga ba ang barkada ngayon? Okay? That's a very good song that we actually uh, heard a lot on the radio. What was the meaning behind it? That was my mission. Okay, so very quickly, the 80s was actually home to song messages that try to push boundaries and points of view. Konti na lang, we have our freedom, things will change, or will it actually change? Okay, so we're done with the 80s, on to the 90s. Okay, but before we proceed to the 90s, I want to change muna my mixtape. Because I know that in the 90s, hindi na tape ang ginagamit, lalo na nung uh, latter part, naka-discman na tayo noon, di ba? <laughs> okay. And this was the discman na medyo anti-shock dapat, di ba? Alright. Yung uh, hindi mag-stop in the middle of it. Okay. Now, okay, naka-discman na tayo. First song, okay? 80s promise changes. 90s was the era of hip-hop or metal ka ba? Or rock or alternative ka? Okay? And the first artist to actually say na, you know what, changes are here, was Tupac Shakur. I see no changes, all I see is racist faces. Misplaced hate makes disgrace to racist. We under, I wonder what it takes to make this. One better place, let's erase the waste. To waste it. Take the evil out the people, they'll be acting right. Cause both black and white, and smoke a crack tonight. And the only time we chill is when we kill each other. It takes... Okay, hindi ko lang kaya mag-rap ng ganong kabilis, no? So I just let it go. <laughs> all right. Changes. But notice, guys, the changes that he is talking about is not that big a scope already. Medyo naka-personal na siya. It's a personal point of view. You know what? I want change, not just for the entire world, but you know what? In a small community that I live in, okay? I want to be treated an equal. It's not that big anymore. Here in the Philippines, 90s was the era of OPM bands, right? Okay? And one of the best bands during that time was Eraserheads, okay? 
kita sa isang magazine Tingawang yung suot at buhok mo'y green sa tindahan Sa may baklaran na patingin na tulala sa iyong kagandahan Now, initially, you would think that that girl na nakadilaw ang suot and buhok ay green was a love song, right? But you know, for in fact, that it is actually a commentary about society, about poverty, how poverty actually can change someone. Okay? Again, from a national scale, dumiliit na. It's a community version of it. Okay? Now, you might have had these albums on your, on your, uh, on your uh, collection, Nirvana, What is the scent of teen spirit? I have no idea. Okay? Guns N' Roses, for those who had the album. Okay? Sino dito may album nun? Can I have a show of hands? Okay? A few, you have to use a mirror to see exactly what the visual is on the album cover. They are again coding it. Okay? They are hiding something. And Silver Chair, ang parating uh, question ko sa Silver Chair, why so angry? Why are you so angry in life? Right? Okay. Heck, even the Spice Girls, to become one song, and daming interpretations, right? Initially, it was about sex, but after that, oh, it could be an allegory about, about the homosexuality or, uh, or another matter. Okay? Locally, we have Francis Magalona. Now, remember, 1988, 1987, Francis Magalona sang Mga Kababayan Ko. Big uh, scope. But right now, in this era, It was more individualistic. Meron ako, ano? Meron akong kwento. But heck, ito talaga ang gusto ko. Becomes more personal. Okay? So the 90s, quick uh, recap. Song expressions traversed, okay? Breaking boundaries to the self. It's freedom from the 80s. From the 80s, we have freedom of a big cause. Now it's freedom of the self, a smaller community. Okay? That was the 90s. Now we go to the next era, okay? yung time na natakot tayong lahat na baka masira lahat ng computer natin because it will be the year 2000, right? The, the millennium bug, okay? Now, I noticed something very interesting at the turn of the millennium, okay? Songs suddenly became more visceral. Now, what do we mean by that? Naging mas ambiance yung focus ng songs. It was the era where tugs, tugs, tugs started, Okay? Bigla naging ganun yung uh, theme ng songs. Now, why did that happen? Okay? My first uh, theory at that point was that maybe it's because all the sound systems that we had, okay, nung, nung 80s, 90s, it was all big, ano, diba? big stereo sets. Now, it's become more personal. I want to experience music on my own. Okay? And my first ever exposure to a visceral type of music was this song. <laughs> I don't want the song to this. I don't want to sing this uh, song. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, so this was the crazy frog. Okay? In the local version, meron tayong aring king king king, no? Uh, <laughs> Ring, ding, ding, a ring, king, king, king. The crazy frog later on become the fox song. Hattie, 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 who? Right? Again, look at this. There was no deep lyrics to this song. All ambience, right? All ambience. But you like it. Come on, admit it, guys. At one point, you were actually doing this. No? Then uh, you, you just stop. Okay? The fox song, even. Okay? This girl. <laughs> okay. Ang ginawa niya lang sa song was, you know what guys, today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, the next, day after next is Saturday, and two days from now it's Sunday, after wards, okay? Doesn't make sense. I know guys, you hated this song, but you were dancing to it. It was actually chart topper, right? Okay? Another song that I'd like to actually bring forth, this one, Work by Rihanna, Okay? The lyrics, work, 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 and then the rest, menye, 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 menye. Okay? And then when I actually write the song, uh, again, I'm trying to decipher it, right? So the lyrics would go, work, 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 and then it goes in this array after that. And it looks like this, wur, 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 lur, 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 okay? But it's a chart topper, right? It's in the billboard charts, right? Again, 
we are dancing to the beat, not much on the coded songs. Filipinos, okay, love K-pop right now. Your generation loves K-pop, okay? Even though we don't understand the lyrics, we dance to it, okay? By the way, uh, who here was born 1997, up meaning 98, 99, okay? You guys are no longer millennials, you are Gen Z, okay? <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, so the Gen Z actually experienced a lot of these types of songs, okay? And I would do TEDx a disservice if I actually don't show you one of the nerve-wracking, chart-topping hits, of visceral hits, of the, this, this current era. I have a pen. <laughs> I have an apple. Uh, apple pen. I have a pen. I have pineapple. Uh. Okay, <laughs> if you actually ask my mom to listen to this, she will go berserk. Okay, parang anak ano ba yan? Ano bang mayayari sa yon? Ano bang ginagawa mo sa buhay mo? Okay, but in a way, I liked it. I liked it. Okay, now what does this tell us? Okay, music is actually changing. Okay, music is changing. Maybe not the way we write, but it is changing. Now, before. Okay, music then was beautifully loaded with codes, which made songs more engaging, captivating, intriguing. Merong thrill of the chase. And that thrill of the chase was the one that actually engaged a lot of the previous generations. Diba? Merong puzzle. What is the artist saying? Okay? Then if you discover it, it was very enriching. Okay? Okay? At that time, wherein, co uh, wherein songs were a lot, uh, very much coded, okay, there was a lot of suppression. Hindi pwedeng sabihin ng derechan, politics, religion, sex, okay, labor, education. Okay? It was coded at that time. Okay? But today, this is a very interesting point of view I'd like to bring forth. Deeply coding song messages for expression are no longer necessary. I don't need to go... Uh, a, B, Lit, Eng, PhD in writing songs. I don't need to code it. Why? Because there is someone or something that actually takes care of that problem. Okay? And that is social media. Okay? Social media has actually taken on some of the role of music from the past. For example, okay? Okay? if you want to express yourself, Go get an emoji. Send it to your friends. No? I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm ha heartbroken. I'm what's up? Okay? You all have those emojis. No? I also know a lot of my students, okay? they message each other puro emoji. Wala kang mababasa, but all emojis. No? You can do that right now. Okay? When you talk about gender equality, the iconic girl who does this, okay? it's very rampant. Okay? Homosexuality. It's, a, it's an open topic now. You don't actually need to code conversations about it. Just, and you see a lot of the colors happening. Okay? When it comes to politics, <laughs> you don't need to write a heavily coded song para hindi tayo mahuli. Just put up your Facebook page and create your own memes about politics. No one will actually dare touch you. Okay? If you are actually uh, looking at... Looking at uh, Religion, this is what you'll see. My favorite line is, uh, let go, let God. Okay? And of course, favorite nating mga Pilipino, mga hugot. Buti pang barya, uh, pag na, kapag, na, kapag nahulog, napapansin. Okay, what am I saying? Now, right now, it's, a bit, it's having a blast on one of the equally stronger forces that we have created in social media. Okay, quick examples for you guys. Rick, Rick, Rick Segreto's song, Don't Know What to Say, actually turns into this. Okay? Right? Beatles song. Okay? Hard day's night. May bagyo. Hindi, boss. Papasok pa rin ako kahit baha. Okay? <laughs> right. One more. Let's close the loop. Let me take a selfie. And they post this picture. Okay? So what is happening now? Okay? Music now has more freedom to manifest itself in other ways. Social media has taken a lot of self-expressions burdened out of music. Parang sinabi niya, Bes, ako na lang bahala sa self-expression. Iba muna ang gawin mo. And music has now taken on the role of being okay, an experience enhancer. We collect experiences. Okay? Kaya ganun yung types of songs natin yan. Okay? And that also is the reason why this song had 485 million likes. Okay? 
Okay? Now, come on, yes. To close it, one day you might ask, no? find yourself thinking like this. Okay? Ganto yung songs, no? Ano nangyayari? You will say that at one point. Just always remember, music has the ability to take on different roles and, and uh, dimensions in society and culture as called for by the changing times. Hindi lang siya pang self-expression. It can actually make another difference in the world we live in. That is my point of view. How about you guys? What do you think? Was my mom correct? Good afternoon and thank you so much.